The Teachers Service Commission, in partnership with various stakeholders, hosted national celebrations to mark International Teachers Day at the Kenya School of Government in Nairobi. During the event, about 500 teachers were recognized and awarded for exemplary performance in national examinations, co-curricular activities and innovations. Speaking during the event, TSC CEO Nancy Masharia said that the TSC is fully committed to ensuring the welfare of teachers as its primary responsibility. Gloria Misimbi begins with that report. The Teachers Service Commission TSC held national celebrations at the Kenya School of Government in Nairobi to commemorate World Teachers' Day. The commission recognized the contribution and exemplary performance of about 500 teachers across the country by awarding various prizes including certificates and trophies. Lord, well done. While addressing this year's theme for World Teachers' Day, NAT Secretary General Colin Soyu said there is need for Teachers Service Commission TSC to join forces with the union in the recruitment and hiring of new teachers. A basic labor practice that uh, for much work that you do, you should be remunerated. If you are acting, it doesn't mean that you're not doing the work, despite the fact that you're not qualified to do the work. If you're acting, you are offering extra, extra piece of duty, extra piece of commitment. This should be rewarded back and they should be paid, let alone the alliances, they should be paid salaries commensurate to the positions that they hold. OU, however, wants the government to address the remuneration of ECD teachers while claiming that the ECD teachers have the most vital roles in setting a foundation for quality education. ECDs are the most suffering lot in the education sector because they are devolved and they are being paid by county governments. Apart from the peanuts they earn from the county governments, I don't think the county governments have the capacity even to quality assure what is being done by ECDs. I want to thank the Presidential Working Party that came up with a report, part of it, that is bringing back Teacher Service Commission to be in charge of ECDs. On her part, TSC CEO Dr. Nancy Masharia said that the TSC Commission is fully committed to ensuring the welfare of teachers as its primary responsibility. She also lauded the government for upscaling its support to the education sector and employment of 56,000 more teachers. Our commitment is to continue to work towards transforming and elevating teaching as a profession. In this case, the Commission has recognized teachers who have, uh, who have demonstrated exemplary performance in management and delivery of the curriculum, including co-curriculum activities for quality education. TSC Chairman Jamlek Muturi said the government is working to reduce teacher shortage and secure education, noting that the quality of teaching is a critical factor impacting students. The theme of this year's World Teachers Day, the teachers we want for the education so the teachers we need for the education we want, the global imperative to reverse the teacher shortage, captures the aspirations of the Kenya Kwanzaa government and the Teacher Service Commission. This theme is not just timely, but also critical in terms of strategies to the government, the government to make to put in place to reverse the teacher shortage. To secure education, we aspire for and addressing the present teacher shortage is imperative. Our future demands, demands educators who are not just knowledgeable, but also passionate, adaptable, elastic, and diverse in background and perspective. Teachers who have been participating in the exercise to ensure CBC compliance as well as attend to their normal school programs have been loaded and encouraged to continue with the good work. Reporting for TV News Watch, I'm Gloria Mosimbi.